my name is Olivia Balsinger and this is Insider Travel Report. Today we are here with Vicky Garcia, who is the co-owner and chief operating officer of Cruise Planners. And today what I want to do is just chat a little bit about Cruise Planners ideas and plans going into 2020. Obviously, it's the end of the year. Uh, this was a very successful year for cruise planners, and I just kind of want some of your, your sneaky insider <laughs> scoop. So. Uh, so first and foremost, can you tell me a little bit about cruise planners in 2019? The growth, uh, the demographics that you saw, uh, any general themes, just kind of your wrap up on the year. Sure, it was a great year. Yesterday was an exciting day. We've had just amazing double-digit growth across all sectors, whether it be the luxury market, river cruising. Um, you heard a consistent message. It was 20 to 30 to 40 percent growth in some cases, mm -hmm. um, and it was across the board. We're seeing it everywhere. We're seeing, you know, even our land sales continue to grow at such a rapid pace. And I made a joke about, and our name is Cruise Planners, right? And we're still seeing that kind of rapid growth. It's wow. pretty exciting. Yes. Yeah. Wow. No, I did notice that there was lots of. Uh, waves of happy green in the yeah. audience, I did notice. So for for going forwards in 2020, uh, can you give me a snapshot of some of the new programs being introduced by cruise planners this year? Sure, lots of new technology. We believe truly that we are a marketing and technology company um, to help our agents propel and sell more travel. We don't want them focusing on the nitty gritty of marketing and trying to figure out what technology to buy or use. We provide 100% of it, so we're always looking to enhance it and make it better. So if we can create amazing marketing, but then our technology team builds the tools to help support it, it's great. So things like Vacation Wizard we launched here, and that's a tool for our agents to actually use for themselves so that when they have a customer that comes to them and says, gosh, I want to book a Costa Rica trip, what but an agent needs to find a way to find a good vendor, they can go into this really cool back-end system that kind of uses some algorithms to present the perfect product for them to pitch to that agent, to that client. Oh. I, I noticed there was lots of cheering when that was <laughs> presented particularly. Do you have a favorite piece of technology that's, that was being introduced? Um, I actually do. Uh, this is something that's been on my wish list for a few years, and it's marketing plans, and it sounds so simple, but you know, I believe, and I've talked to so many executives between yesterday and today from the, from the suppliers, is if a travel advisor comes to their uh, business development manager at a, at a, at a product, at a, at a supplier, with a well thought out plan that they want to do an event, and they have a marketing plan that's tied to it that says, I'm going to do this initiative, I'm going to invite people, so here are the invitations and the cost, and I expect to make this many bookings at this event or whatever, that supplier is going to say, I'm in, I want to help you design this program or this event. So it is a marketing plan generator that it's a it's an input that agents put in what they're going to do, when they're going to do it, and it spits out a marketing plan that says, now I have the tools to do it with. That's awesome. And I, it's really evident that there's a camaraderie between, between everyone in the company. But speaking to marketing plans for a moment, uh, are there any major updates to existing marketing plans uh, for 2020? You know, we're always dusting things off and making sure that um, we, we're putting the right tools in the right hands. So we'll look at our existing tools and then clean them up if we need to, reinvent them. So there's a bunch of them actually, since I have a list, um, where, you know, my trips, which is a, a, an online portal that we have on the agent's websites, we're adding just more functionality to it so that now the client can inter interact with their franchise owner and truly, in some cases, even plan with Live Planner, plan their trip together virtually. But you spoke about, you know, the, the sea of green or the, the camaraderie, et cetera. Uh -huh. And that's a super important part to me is truly the, the people and culture piece of our business because we can all talk about tools, we can all talk about marketing, and we, we are very proud of the stuff we do. But one of the important features for me, especially coming into 2020, is focusing on our people and culture. And you've already felt the energy. Mm -hmm. It, it is, <laughs> it's one of those things, and we hear it from suppliers all the time. People ask them, what makes Cruise Planner so special? What is it about them? What is that? Why does everyone like them so much? Um, and they always say it's them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the group, it's the people, it's the energy, it's the fact they love doing what they do. So we're going to focus a lot more in the coming year on the people and the culture. You know, we have a strong culture of giving back to the community, which you saw some examples today. We had to put it in a video format because we do so much throughout the year to give mm -hmm. back. And it's part of who we are in our, in, our, in, our, in our core. So that's what makes a difference of who we are. We design great technology, we have great marketing, but also it's the people that are the right people. You see the energy when they see us walking through the hallways. You know, we hug everybody. We're, mm -hmm. we're not just a corporate shake hands type mm -hmm. person. I saw someone walking by with a suit during the conference, <laughs> and I'm like, 
that person doesn't belong no, here. No, he doesn't that? belong here. And Where's truly, I was almost a little suspect. And I, you know, they say now, nowadays, if you see something, say something. I'm like, who's that guy? He doesn't belong here. Because he was wearing a suit. And it was yeah. someone from the hotel. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, uh, glad we figured out who he was. Yeah. But no, I agree. That's really what I've taken away as my first Cruise Planners Conference as well. Uh, this convention is really... A family. It's a family affair. You and Michelle and the team are leading it and dancing on stage. So uh, I, I, I can't wait to to see what's up and uh, what's around the corner for cruise planners in 2020. Thank you so much, Vicky. Thank you so much for having me. It's awesome. Thank you. Thanks. This is Olivia Balsamir, and this is Insider Travel Report.